Storm Tracker weather starts now with Chief Meteorologist Curtis Grevenens. All right, welcome back everybody. Uh, we have been through quite a bit this week as far as Arctic air and wind chill warnings and snow and now a warm up and would you believe that it's 45 above zero in Helena. West winds finally pushed out so that uh, Arctic air, the bottom of the valley was the last place to get rid of that cold, dense air. 41 in Great Falls, southwest winds up to 30, 40 miles per hour at times today and it pushed this boundary pretty much up to the high line here. The Haver, 13 degrees just to the south. Rocky Boy was up in the mid 40s today. Glasgow at 22, Jordan at 46 degrees. The Arctic air will be coming back south as we go through the next several hours. Wind chills still pretty nasty up on the high line. They're under a wind chill advisory up there once again, but the wind will be shifting for a lot of the northern half of the state to the north, allowing that cold air to come back southward. However, closer to the divide and in the southern half of the state, more of a west wind. So that is going to prohibit the Arctic air from making its way all the way down as far south as it uh, did uh, just this last little go about. But Sunday, the winds will switch around to the southwest and we'll start to see that Chinook developing a southwest wind, compressional wind, warming up the temperatures. Uh, but until then, the Arctic air is coming back and technically we still have another few hours of a blizzard warning around East Glacier, the combination of snow that is still falling up there and also the wind. So we've got to uh, watch out for that there. Wind chill advisory, this going into effect all the way until 11 o'clock Sunday. Actually looks pretty cold. Once again, tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow night into Sunday morning. We've got a little spotty precipitation here on the radar. Of course, we've had some rain and snow showers around uh, the Helena area through Wolf Creek Canyon. Not so much up into Cascade County, but uh, some of those snow showers pretty heavy and some of those may come down off of the Continental Divide and affect Interstate 15. Interstate 90 is closed westbound. You can make it all the way to St. Regis, and then if you had to go further towards the west, you probably have to go up through Plains and then take Highway 200. An avalanche blocking the westbound lanes. We're going to clean this up and hopefully get the interstate open by tomorrow morning. Back to the radar here, pretty quiet across the north central part of the state. Maybe a little freezing drizzle or freezing rain. So still where we've got that cold air down at the surface with some warmer air over the top of it up here right along the high line. You can see some of that around Glasgow and up north around uh, the Old Pine area and Plentywood as well. A little snow moving through Minnesota and a lot of snow moving out of Maine and Massachusetts where 12 to 18 inches of snow fell today. So. Again, a little snow, a little ice out the high line, some snow showers maybe impacting the Helena Valley even through the overnight. And then again tomorrow, we'll have a little snow in the morning hours up uh, Haver out through the Glasgow area and a couple of snow showers, maybe heavy at times in the Western Mountains. And then things really start to quiet down. The precipitation comes to an end. Sunday will be just that, a very sunny day. And the coldest of the air mass will start to move on out. So even Places like Glasgow will start to inch their way up, but uh, Sunday's looking like a pretty nice January day. Snowfall amounts again a little out the high line, maybe an inch or two uh, through tomorrow morning and the western mountains could pick up a couple inches. Looking long range, besides the little snow shower activity we'll have tomorrow, then things really dry out for the rest of the weekend and the rest of next week. We may go all the way until about Friday next week before we see some snow showers coming back through and a lot of clear skies, Chinooks for the plains and inversions for the valleys. Maybe some snow and returning to a much colder pattern as we get into the following week. Look at these numbers going back down south tonight below zero for a lot of locations out the high line. A little snow, a little ice, a little freezing rain. Lewistown is up in the 40s today, 12 tonight. Watch for refreezing going on after everybody warmed up or most everybody. Tomorrow, zero for Haver and Glasgow for high temperatures. A little warmer around Helena and Point South. A couple of snow showers around. Then Sunday, the Arctic air starts to move on out. Glasgow's up to four. 15 in Haver, 
Southwest winds around Cup Bank and uh, the Great Falls area should push temperatures up to around freezing and even warmer on Monday. Look at Cup Bank and Great Falls, but the Western Valleys start to become inverted and, and we head into Tuesday and there will be more in the way of inversions in the valleys like Helena and for Great Falls and a lot of the plains, here comes that Chinook wind and warmer temperatures next week.